Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on? This is your boy Brent Bryson here and I'm going to show you guys how I control recoil or compensate for the recoil pattern of guns in PUBG. So as you can see here, I got my webcam, got my face cam on and I got the Elite, Contro uh, Elite 2 Series 2, Elite Controller Series 2 controller here. Elite Controller Series 2 here. And before I talk about anything, let me talk about the specs. I do have a right analog stick, you know, Control Freak Phantom on my right analog stick. And I'll explain more why once we get to the training mode. So without further ado, I'll be right back when I get my guns and I'll talk about everything else. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So throughout this series, I'm going to be using the M416 and the Barrel M7, M762. Uh, these, that's my favorite 556 gun and that's my favorite 762 gun. Everything, uh, both of them will have the extended mag. Everything will have the vertical grip. And then the M4 will have attack stock. And I'm just going to show you guys right now how I compensate for recoil for having no flash hider or, you know, no muzzle attachment, having a muzzle attachment and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get started. So now let's just use this M4 like without a muzzle attachment. You know, I don't, you don't see me controlling the recoil. And it goes all the way up into the sky. But as you can see here that the bullets, you know, like it's pretty compact with each other, especially the first like three shots, as you can see here is or the first five shots will hit you no matter what. So what you want to do is ever so slightly pull down the analog stick. And this guy is coming here. Damn it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm good here. So I'm, I'm basically almost the same, you know, size as I was before. Anyway, so what you want to do is ever so slightly pull down your right analog stick to compensate for the recoil. As you can see there, when I was shooting the warehouse, it was like, you know, the bullet, the bullets were pretty not pretty much not spread out, even with, you know, uh, no muzzle attachment. So what I like to do is just ever so slightly pull down on the right analog stick. Now, that's why it helps to have a higher stick on your right analog stick, because you don't have to pull down as aggressively hard of going down and you could just fine tune it with a right analog stick. I don't think I could control my recoil without my Phantom Elite controller. Honestly, I'm not sponsored. I wish I was, but I'm not sponsored by them by the by with by the way. I can't speak right now. So if I try to control it, you know, just, you know, aimlessly trying to control it. Uh, I mean, like that wasn't the best spray, but as you can see here, majority or all of the hits will or all of the bullets will hit you from the chest and up um that's way better than you know all the way going up now you will see a big difference with having a flash hider look at this recoil compensation so as you can see it was a little bit harder for me to control at the beginning because the I was still compensating for having no muzzle attachment, but now that I have it done with you know with the flash hider and I shoot it, it's more tight because I know exactly how to use it now with the flash hider. This is why you should be in PUBG. Uh, you know, check out the PUBG training grounds. By the way, uh, first episode it talks about going to the uh, you know training camp and just practicing your recoil. This is exactly what I'm talking about here. And now, the compensator is the best one to control the recoil, though, as you can see here. Just get back to my place. As you can see, it's harder to control the horizontal recoil, but pretty much if someone was, like, you know, crouched down, that would be all heady. It would be all uh, chest shots and everything. And it's very, like, you know, spread apart. It's very, very, like, everything is all intact. Um, the suppressor, I always suggest not having a suppressor um, if you're trying to control your recoil because it really doesn't help with a recoil compensation at all. So you have to pull down on your right analog stick a little bit, even a little bit harder. As you can see there, the final 10 bullets was getting out of hand because I couldn't control it all that much, but it was still, you know, pretty much compact. Now, that also, you know, relies on, you know, having a 4X and a 3X. Actually, for M4 fully stacked with a compensator and everything, it's really easy to control the 4X sprays. And as you can see there, like, if I'm just not going to shoot, I'm just, like, controlling, like, slowly con uh, lure putting down my analog stick. 
like ever so slightly pulling it down now that helps out with the barrel as well because even with the barrel fully stacked or like with a barrel with no muzzle attachment of course of course it's harder to control because it's a 762 gun but look at how much difference it does with the compensator As you can see there, all my shots are even like are more inwards together compared to this, where it's like all almost spread out. Uh, a compensator is always the best to help with your controller spray. All you got to do is con like, you know, fine tune because every person is different. Fine tune exactly how you want to put like how you're going to pull down on your analog stick for your controller. Even like if you have a series two controller, every stick drift, every stick tension is different. I have mine to the least amount. So like, you know, mine is all the way. So it's like as loose as possible. And another tip that I want to give you guys is if you look at my saying, this is not no, not a settings video, but I'm going to show you guys my vertical sensitivity multipliers at 58, which is really low. If you want to see me how to control, if you want to see how I control it with 150 vertical sensitivity multiplier, look at this, <laughs> look at this mess. <laughs> so I'm going to have it fully stacked again, and I'm going to try to control the recoil on this M4. <laughs> I got to sneeze again. As you can see, it was hard for me to control the recoil for the M4. And even if it's on the baseline, the reason why it's hard for you to control the vertical or, you know, the vertical multiplier speed is because you have to pull down is like very high you know it's very fast going is like <laughs> it's freaking fast going up and down left all right my recording just cut off right there but like i was saying it's very fast even with 100 left which is the basic baseline of the vertical sensitivity multiplier compare this which is like you know 100 vertical sensitivity to this when uh, mine is that I know my tips and or my my ver my sensitivity video it was all the way at fifty, but I liked it at fifty eight. Compare that to this. There's no competition. Vertical sensitivity making it lower. Of course, it's harder to look up and down, but I mean, you have to look left and right for enemies anyway. It's easier to control. Now that I'm running out of bullets here. Let me show you how it looks like without my Control Freak Phantom as well. So I'll be right back. All right, so it feels really weird not having my Control Freak Phantom on my right stick, but it's also really hard to control without a thumb grip or thumbstick extender, like height-wise. Yeah, so as you can see there, I mean, it feels weird. It worked out, but I'm really not confident with how I shoot my gun like that. So, yeah, that was really awkward for me to do. Again, I know it's going to take a long time to get used to using a analog, you know, a control freak stick on your right analog stick if you're not used to it already. But take the time to get used to it because it does help out a lot. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I wish I would. <laughs> oh, man. And again, uh, crouching down is always the best way to do it as well. This is me using a fully stacked barrel. Uh, which is pretty good, you know, recoil wise. But if you crouch down and do it. press B too much too many times you can see it's even more compact more than this so again just to re reiterate what I was saying make sure to find your sweet spot and the best way to do that is in training grounds or you know camp jackal and just you know lower like this is how slow I pull down the recoil when I shoot the gun another good practice that you can do is let the recoil go up and then try to compensate it back down let it go up and compensate it back down. And once you get the movement down of where the, the sweet spot is to make it go down, try to hold it down. So for my last 40 bullets, let's try that. 
Make it go up, put it down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So make sure they're like, in, oh yes, besides this part, it barely, like, you know, when it went up, I controlled it going down again. And I, it was the same speed of this when I was, you know, trying to recoil, uh, control the recoil. Of course, in PUBG, time, 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 everything, it takes time to control your recoil and everything. But again, these are some tips and tricks to help you help help you control the recoil in a faster or like learn to control your recoil in a faster manner. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are ready, go subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day. And by the way, by the time that this video does come out, I am currently in the Philippines right now. And that is the reason why I haven't been streaming. But follow me on Twitch. I'll be ba I will be back on February 11th. I'll be back. Well, of course, I'm not going to stream that day because I'll be jet lag as hell. But I'll be back. Follow me on Twitch, Brent Bryson 15 Subscribe if you're new around here. Help me reach 700 subscribers because by the time that this video is recorded, I do not have 700 subscribers yet. But anyway, love you all. Yeah, that's it. I just love you all, man. Just take my love.